motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings, family. Greetings, Queen here with another fabulous episode with the Queen Dome. Let's take a uh, moment and take a deep breath together and get into the present moment. actually took two deep breaths. That felt good. It's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to have another conversation with you. My uh, morning has started off fabulous. I did did about 40, 45 minutes or so of meditation blended with yoga. And that always gets me on the right frame mentally and also physically feels so good to just love on your organs and and and, and allow the uh, the energy that that divine energy to flow through you and remove blockages and just become one that's what yoga means is to become one mind body spirit soul to become one well this episode we're not necessarily talking about yoga we're talking about What are you willing to sacrifice? I want you to think about that question. What are you willing to sacrifice? The question is posed because each of us are on a journey of evolution. This is what this whole incarnation is about it's about evolving it's about expansion it's about growth it's about becoming more if that were not the case then when we were born we would still be a baby we would stay the same age Same size, same everything. But if you look around the universe, you look around your world, you see everything is expanding. Everything is growing. Everything has life. And it's choosing to evolve. If you look at a blade of grass, you'll notice that that blade of grass is, is, is growing towards the sun, which is this entire universe's power source, your power source as well. So if our journey is all about evolving and all about growth, within your personal journey, you must ponder the question, what are you willing to sacrifice to get to that next level that you're seeking? Let's let's talk about an example. Within your business, or maybe you're wanting to start a business Maybe you're wanting more abundance and prosperity to come into your life. More money. Now in the last episodes, we kind of touched on the fact that 
you can't just throw up, throw up, throw out wishes and prayers and not get into action and do anything about it. So I'm going to presume that you're an action taker. I'm going to presume that you're not a person that just throws out wishes not followed by action but you actually get into action to make those things manifest now the question is what things are you going to sacrifice to give up to make your next chapter come into fruition will it be that you'll have to give up Netflix will it be you have to give up girl time or guy time? Would it be that you'll have to give up all the distractions that you're so, so attached to? You know, there was a study, and I don't have the exact numbers, so I won't quote it, but there was a Harvard study where they studied how many hours people spend per day and per week on social media. Social media has become one of the biggest distractions that we've ever faced as a society. I'm all about the internet revolution, but I'm not all about the negative distractions that bombard our lives and that we actually volunteer to bombard our lives. So one of the big things that I sacrificed was giving up a cell phone. When I was um, visiting Barbados for about six months and my phone was acting weird, you know, it would just not hold a charge. <clears throat> Sometimes it would turn off and turn on by itself, just doing a lot of weird things. I was slowly, slowly over the years weaning myself off of social media, removed my Facebook accounts, removed some other social media accounts. Just slowly, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly detaching. So I told myself, I said, if this phone dies, if this phone turns into a brick, I'm not getting another phone. Because this is going to free me and free my time up from spending so many countless hours wasted energy in a distracted world that's not helping me to evolve. That's not helping me to get to the next chapter that I want to manifest. So I've been without a cell phone for about, hmm, close to a year? No, not close to a year. What is this, July? So it's been about eight months. It's been about eight months. <clears throat> and with all that free time, I've been able to do a lot more research I've been able to have a clear mind and not have negative images, negative thoughts, negative vibrations from social media that distract me from my next chapter. Now, am I telling you to throw your phone in the trash? No. But what I am suggesting is maybe if you are an avid social media person and you consume a lot of social media if the thing that you're trying to accomplish in your life is really 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 of major importance to you and this is something that you truly desire then you may want to sacrifice the time that you spend per day, per week on social media. Maybe you bring it down 50% and see what that does for you. 
see all the extra energy, extra time that you have towards what it is that you're seeking. Because everything that you're seeking, it's, it's internal. You're not going to get it externally. So you, you, you have to have that time to cultivate that relationship with self. So maybe one of your sacrifices will be giving, giving up some, some of your social media time. You know, um, sometimes I recommend to my, to my uh, coaching clients, my health coaching clients, when they start a fast, a water fast, I will also have them to fast from social media. So for, for an example, I may give them a seven-day regimen where they do a seven-day water fast. They also have to not consume any social media for seven days because I want them to have the full experience of going within. Maybe that's something you, you could try. See, see what it does for you. So what are you willing to sacrifice? You know, there's, there's pain that comes with change. There's endurance that we must have that comes with change. There is rejection that we have to deal with that comes with change, that comes with evolving. That's a sacrifice. Once you align your objectives with your mind and your heart and your spirit, and then you get into action, all of the things I just mentioned, the pain, the endurance, the rejection, because you're in such alignment with what it is that you're choosing for yourself, you'll start not to care about those things. You'll start not to care about those things. But it takes practice. It takes practice. Because right now you're conditioned to a certain attachment from other people, experiences, and things like that. Because we have been mostly through our lives of the world versus being in the world, right? So that, that means that we've extended our emotions and feelings out to other people, experiences, so forth and so on, versus being able to manage those emotions and those feelings. See, I can tell you right now, if, if people did not give a damn about what somebody thought about them, how they looked at them, how they may have felt about them, things they whispered about them. If people didn't give a damn about any of that, everyone would be vibrating at a high level. But see, society, we sit around and we judge one another. You know, we judge one another. Why? Because we're of the world. We're of the world. But once you, you get the discipline to be in the world but not of it, and to have a, an, an inner relationship that's so deep, you don't care about others, opinions, judgments, and things of that nature. And that's how you can break through the sacrifices with ease. So you're starting a new business. You're cultivating new clients. New clients are telling you no, hanging the phone up on you left and right. You don't care. Your brain, your heart, your soul, your spirit aligned with that goal, the vision, the value that you're bringing to the world. You know that you're doing the right thing. This is what you truly want to do. And you're doing it from a heart-centered consciousness. So you're just going to keep at it because guess what? Whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that your objective is to bring to the world, there are people that want what you have. There are people that are on your frequency. They're waiting for you to wake up, show up, 
and show them. That's why I do what I do, right? Because I know, and in fact today, <laughs> I was thinking about, ah, maybe I'll not do an episode today. But say, you know what? There is one person out of the 8 billion people on this planet, there is one person that's waiting on me to drop another episode. And that one person, that one being, that one soul, got me gassed up. And I said, you know what? Nah, I'm doing the episode today. My goal is to do an episode every day. On Sunday, I take a break. All gods have to rest, right? So Sundays, I take a break. Regather myself, collect my thoughts. Look at the intentions for the next week. So family, what are you willing to sacrifice? And if you're not willing to make a sacrifice for what it is that you're choosing, then you need to make another choice. Peace and unconditional love to you. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.